Hey guys, Moonpie145 here, and welcome to episode 1 of Life is Strange. So, this game came out a while ago. I think it's one of those episodic games where the developer will release one episode uh, over a certain period of time. I mean, release episodes over a certain period of time. And so, I believe there are two episodes out, and I'm going to play the first one for you guys. Uh, I've heard it's really interesting. I've seen a little bit of gameplay in the beginning, but um, other than that, I'm not really sure what to expect. So why don't we just get right into it? So here it is, Life is Strange. You can see really nice kind of scenery here. I really like it. I mean, you can see that these pine trees are, I think they're pine trees, you know, kind of swaying in the wind. You've got the ocean here. You've got some nice sunlight here. Well, that's kind of interesting. See, it's like I'm moving my cursor, and there seems to be sort of a glowy effect. Alright, whatever. And, uh, let's see, there's a building here. I think that's a lighthouse right there. You can see the coastline, so it's really nice, uh, really nice scenery so far. So far, I haven't even played yet. Let's check the options real quick. So yeah, I was thinking around with it, and this seems to be the best setting that I can use. Without it being choppy to all hell. Of course, we're gonna have subtitles for people who cannot hear. No offense to people who cannot, or who are not as auto, uh, audibly tuned as the rest of us. Okay. No credits. I don't want to see credits. Alright, let's get started then, I guess. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Okay, that's cool. I mean, I know most of these episodic games are kind of like point and click and, and interactive so it reminds me I, I really like the choose your own adventure kind of genre in games and in books so uh, hopefully this will be sort of along the same line Ooh, who's this So, I'm assuming this is the main character. It appears that we are a teenage girl that is somehow here in the forest. Wow, this is a pretty gnarly storm. Okay, let's see. Can I sit on- oh. Uh, use your mouse to move the camera. Okay. That is what I am doing. Oh, I can look up too. What would happen if I get struck by lightning right now? Would I, would I, would I die? I mean, I know the odds aren't that great, but it's still possible, you know? Can I sit on this bench? I'm kinda tired. No, I guess not. Uh, let's see... What, what the heck is this? I am blocked by an invisible barrier. Come on, Max. You can make it. Who's 
snacks. Whoa. And I apologize if I if my mouse starts spazzing out. It's, it's kind of weird. I'm not used to games like this. Okay, uh, so we're supposed to get to the lighthouse. Oh, that was the lighthouse that we saw in the beginning, I think. I'm moving way too slow. And uh, I'm gonna apologize right now because I like to examine the hell out of everything. So, if you guys don't like that, I'm sorry. Oh my god, okay. Oh, there it is. There's Lighthouse. Isn't that where Dragonite lives? I think that was the first Pokemon movie, but. Holy shit, what the hell? I believe that is a super tornado. Oh man, are we are we in an episode of Storm Chasers right now? I love Storm Chasers. Whoa! God, look look at the size of this thing. God damn, global warming, global warming at work here. Oh my god. Uh, oh, this isn't the ocean. Wait a minute, water spouts don't get this big. Really is the end of the world. Oh god, is that the close the coastline? Can I zoom in? No, no, I can't. Got like a cinder block here. What's this? Blackwell Academy 1910. This doesn't look like 1910. Can I just fall off this cliff right here? Seriously, that's pretty cool to look at that. Imagine it would be even better if I could... Oh, we're in Oregon, okay. So anyway, I was... Oh my god, I lost my train of thought already. Well... How do we get to the lighthouse? It's all like, locked off. Uh... Oh. Holy shit. Hey, you watch your mouth, young lady. Alright guys, we gotta look for a cow. We have to look for a flying cow. In these types of- Oh my god. Oh, it's over. We're dead. We're dead. That's the end of the game. Sorry. Oh, wait, what? That was so surreal. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. Pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography. Okay, I apologize. The audio seems okay. to be I'm in class. Fucking up. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep and I have to adjust the settings a little bit more. Like a dream. Weird. Uh, Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Okay, Why are we? where where are we? Because of what her images this? of hopeless Some faces. Classroom. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. Uh, she saw humanity as tortured, right? Uh, good. Frankly, this guy it's looks bullshit. like a hipster. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. And, Seriously, uh, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark People are not room. even paying attention. <laughs> in a moment of desperation, and any one of you could uh, do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Oh. Yeah, I, I don't know. Is this this what looks like a college? Like, capture people at the height maybe a, of their beauty or innocence. One of those artsy classrooms. She had a brilliant eye, so she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. Uh, I prefer drag mouse to aim friend. at the photo and hold left mouse too, button Victoria. to interact with it, then drag towards. He captured look the and essence of post-war beat America, uh, and there was okay. honesty about the economic conditions of the era, but a beauty in the struggle. You don't have beauty without uh, a beat. Look. Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic look. muse. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class. Yeah, how can now. you show that? Okay. And both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen that uh, iconic see, shot of Kerouac at? on the balcony. Look at the pencil and if you case haven't, here. shame, shame. I can't Capturing believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. Now, 
contrast Frank's stark Americana with yeah, several I mean, of Dolly's Pencil cases? Like I don't Cocteau, think I've seen one of those a in a true while. Renaissance man. And his famous self portraits are famous. I don't really look that early hard. examples of that truly cases. awful word you pesky kids love. Uh, so much. Let's look at the bag here, I guess. The selfie. And My it's little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. For your right to self expression. Or selfie expression. Okay. I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Plus, so it's perfect for my portfolio. No, I don't want to take a picture yet. No, 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 no. I want to read her innermost thoughts here. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. I bet yeah, me neither. Talk all the way until the bell rang. It's your. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Oh my God. Yeah, if you guys want to read this, you can pause it. I'm gonna skim through it and see if there's anything interesting. Hey, hey, hey! Thanks, global warming. See, we're we're on the same wavelength. We're on the same wavelength right now. Ray Bradbury. Uh, there is a book that I read by him that I should remember, but I don't. Blah blah blah, blah 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 blah, blah blah blah. blah. Uh, okay. So I hope you guys had enough time to pause and read that. Let's see. Okay, there's eight pages. Wait a minute. Didn't Slender Man have eight pages? Oh no. Now anyway, uh, let's see. Okay, so obviously the first page... Let's go to the first page because I'm sure that's the earliest entry. Ah, oh, what the hell? No, oh, okay. I think we have established the fact that we are in Oregon. Got accepted into Blackwell Academy. Uh huh. Famous private school for seniors. Seniors. Oh, so is this a high school? Huh. That's interesting. Uh, okay. Hey, look at this math here. That's annoying. Leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Okay, we I, I, I think we have said it many times now that we are definitely in Oregon. Don't need to, uh, you know, keep harping on that. Let's see. Do -do -do. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Isn't that like that lift mustache that you put on cars? Yeah, again, so sorry. If you guys don't like reading this stuff, you can kind of skip ahead, but... Like I said before, I, I examined the hell out of everything. And dorm room. I mean, I, I don't know. I, maybe you guys that have gone to private high schools can attest to something like that. But I mean, I thought only colleges had that. God, it's so boring. And she swears a lot, too. I don't know why she's here. She should be in the... She should be a sailor. With this potty mouth. <laughs> OMG, I want to marry him. Oh, oh, she's talking about the teacher. The hipster teacher. What's this? Ooh, a pr 
profile tab. Okay, Max Caulfield. Caulfield. Wasn't this the last name of that guy in... Oh god, what was that book? Uh... Catcher in the Rye, right? Holden Caulfield? Maybe it was spelled differently. I don't know. That was, that was, that was one of my favorite books, though. Anyway. Oh, photographer. Okay, well, that makes sense. Here's the hipster teacher. Okay, this girl is Kate Marsh. No, I'm assuming it's her friend or something. Victoria Chase, total bitch. Okay, so this person is clearly not her friend. Uh, okay. What's this? Oh, right, episode one. Chrysalis. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is like a map. Look at this. This is like Google Maps. Ooh, text messages. Dad. Have a very special 18th birthday. This girl is 18? I, she looked like she was 14, honestly. Alright, whatever. You're an adult now, but you're still a little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. I'm going to spend every last penny of your money. How do I go back? Oh. Kate. Uh, let's go up. Up, up, up. Hey, Max, you around? Always you okay? Do you want to get tea later today? Absolutely. I'll be free after four. Talk to you later. Okay. Can I send people text? That'd be funny. It's like one of those chatbots that they have their automated response, their intelligent automated responses. Uh, so for mom, happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Hugs and kisses, whatever. Warren. Do you want to meet for coffee after school? I had, or I need an excuse to not study. Please. Uh, make sure you check out Neck romantic on my flash drive. Maha, what the heck? Hey, Mad Max, let's bust shit up. Wait, I have to study for a physics test, so if we bust anything, we also have to measure its velocity. No, I hate physics. Don't ignore this message. Oh man, this guy's like a stage four clinger right now. No contact. Turn to lecture us. Now, based on the chapters, I have. Have no you been talking this whole time while I've been you know, looking the through my journal? Process that led to the birth of the self portrait. Uh, is there anything Anybody? else to do? Oh, here's my camera. This does not bode well. I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. Uh, okay, take a selfie. Just oh jump gosh. right in with an answer. No, I'm gonna take a selfie. I don't give a crap about your, your damn lecture. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was yes, not the first we all to use images that. for selfie expression. Sorry. I couldn't resist. The hey man, as a teacher, as a portly hip teacher, you should know that everybody long as it's been in this classroom and at the school has senioritis, Max, okay? And we're all going to be cramming to the last the minute, so we don't know anything that you're talking about right now. Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. Oh, uh, choice. Uh, you're asking me? I didn't know. Uh, what happened? Where the heck's my mouse? Where the heck's my cursor? Right, hold on, guys. Okay, I have no idea. What happened to my cursor? <laughs> He's just staring at me. 
Uh, 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 oh my god, I'm gonna fail. Wait, where the heck is my, seriously, where the heck is my cursor? What? Alright, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, you're actually supposed to click here. No wonder. Uh, okay, let's see. That makes a lot more sense. Let's see, I don't know if there are consequences if I pick one or the other. I'm gonna I say didn't I didn't know. know. But I kind of forgot. You either know no, this that's a terrible not. answer. You should just make some bullshit up. Is anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who no. created daguerreotypes. Oh, God. It's the gift portrait bitch. with a sharp reflective style like a man. know it all, bitch. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> who says stuff the like that? The daguerreotype process Are you brought out that's finding to like people's a, faces, a dis? making them extremely yeah, popular from the harder. 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype uh, self-portrait right, was done now? by Robert Let's take another Cornelius. selfie. You can find out Sorry, Max. No more selfies right now. Or even online. Oh, that's no fun. Uh oh. Hey guys, don't happened? forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too, and yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Taylor's wearing some really short ass pants. I mean a short ass skirt. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing. Man, I don't like the uh Oh yeah, look at her. Kissing up to the teacher. But that's how she gets her grades. Anyway. Uh, I don't like how the cutscenes are kind of choppy, and it, that's not the game. It's definitely on my uh, on my end, so we'll have to see what we can do about that. Uh, anyway, so let's see here. Oh, right. Let's interact with everything. That was amazing, and that's Jefferson what this game is all about. Picture the first week, even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all. It was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. There's only like eight people in this class. Alright, what else can we interact with? What about these, uh, these books? Here's a poster. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. These are oil sketches, not photos. Oh wait, you can read it? Pop Vine is Grunge Dead, featuring the latest works from Mark Jefferson's 10 Reasons to Get a, to get Electronic Mail. Basically, they're, they're trying to persuade you to sign up for their email or whatever so they can spam you that with catalogs. That is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Hmm. Ooh, a computer. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Neon Val. Alright, let's see. Oh, what? I can't click on anything? Oh well. Is this another printer? It's like, this is the cheap one, and this is the the one percenter printer. Uh, what is this? Okay, I already looked at that. I already looked at that. Photo equipment. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm so... I have no idea what you just said. Let's see, what is, what is that? It's like some kind of weird cat dog yeti thing. I'm gonna walk away now. Ooh, another poster. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. 
These don't look like pictures. They look like oil sketch paintings. More this photo clipping? This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? Alright, you need to calm down, okay? It's just a camera. Uh, is there anything? Oh, books? So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henry Cartier Bresson? That's rare. No I idea who that is. Mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith? Good to see Avedon among nope. the masters. Dolly, of course. Lots of okay, people I know who I Dolly is. Yet. I guess that's why I'm here. What is this stuff? Even her school books are gift Somebody wrapped. Somebody left their notebook here. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? Oh, it's the bitch. And people laughed. Of course, Victoria has to have the best. Let's steal her tablet. Most expensive Let's steal it. Everything. Steal it. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Holy fuck. 5300 bucks for this camera. Oh, let's read it, I guess. Yeah, no. No. Uh, ooh, what's this? Edged marks? Hmm. This might make a cool shot. Are you serious? You're gonna take a picture of a, like, a desk carving? Eh, whatever. Floats and road, I guess. What does that say? Amber Heart Forever. Who's Amber? Tab journal. Achievement unlock macro eyes. Journal? Can I access my journal? Uh, no. no. Alright. Oh, here's Kate. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Yeah, I wonder why. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Oh, wow. She looks like a zombie. Uh, hope I didn't embarrass you. You seem quiet today. You seem quiet today. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. You seem quiet today. Oh. Victoria, yeah, no, 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 she hasn't. Let's go I grab a that. cup of tea. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's what later. homework? Sure. What possibly, what kind of homework are you possibly having in a class like this? Maybe take pictures. Take pictures of everything. No, 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 no. Let's go get tea now. Let's talk later, Max. Ah, fine. I thought you were my friend. What's this? Oh, it's that paper ball that the bitch threw. You know, I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Dear Kate, we love your porn video. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god. Is that why she's so, like, depressed? Has everybody found her sex tape? Ooh, a window? I like this panoramic view of Blackwell. Everything looks so green and serene. Yeah, I do. I have to agree with that. This looks pretty cool. It's a pretty cool shot. You should take a picture. You should use that camera and take a damn picture. Alright, guys. Uh, we're gonna stop here. And that's the end of part one. And I think it dragged on way too long because, like I said, I examined everything. So, expect more of the same, okay? Uh, no, but I mean, it's pretty interesting so far, I guess. We haven't really learned much because I've... The only thing I've done was examine everything. But, uh, I think we can establish that we're a high school senior in some prestigious private academy. Uh, we love photography and there are some weird people here. Okay, so anyway... I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to eat lots of pie, rate, comment, subscribe, hit that like button, tell all your friends, and I'll see you.